So without further ado, though, let us say hello to the legend himself, the dream catcher, the man who will be headlining Bell Tour 275 this Friday, the one and only Gegard Musasi. There he is. Hello, Gegard. Hi, Aaron. How are you? They're shooting here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What happened? I, I lost you there. The, the internet crapped out on us. What did you say? The shooting what? Uh, I was kidding. I, thought, I said they were shooting here, but everything is safe in Dublin. You can come. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'll be there, but I'll be watching. Are you relaxed? Uh, let me ask yeah. you the same question that I just, I just talked to Austin, your opponent on Friday. Yeah. And I feel guilty. I have a lot of Jewish guilt, Gegard, because it occurred to me, it's 6.30 in Ireland. You got the weigh-ins tomorrow. You probably don't want to do this right now. I'm annoying you. Is this annoying for you? No, you, you haven't had me on you your show for a long time you made it big uh, you forget you forget the strikers interviews everything no I don't, that... I, I don't see my doll there did you have a doll no they didn't make it i'm not <laughs> popular enough <laughs> come on i bet in holland someone like a local guy has made a doll of yours a bobblehead something no never some kinky stuff but not uh, for selling <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, this is great. You know, I wanted to ask you, Gegard, which Gegard are we getting today? Because sometimes we get the mad Gegard, sometimes we get the funny Gegard, sometimes we get the dry, kind of serious business Gegard. I feel like we're getting the yeah. the, the funny Gegard today. This is good. I like this. Yeah, there's a couple inside. They're uh, pushing to come out. Okay. <laughs> How do you feel? You are you in a good uh, good state of mind? Good spirits? You're 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 liking yeah, Ireland. Uh, Ireland is not nice, you know. Uh, except Mc, uh, McGregor is a piece of shit. But, what? Uh, <laughs> Why? What did he do to you? He texted me a long time ago. He was uh, cursing me. But uh, that's a long story. It's not important anymore. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm making weight. So I'm not, you know, I'm not that happy. But Yeah. How much more do we have to go? Uh, to 13, 14 pounds. Oh my. Is that is that usual for you at this point? Oh, I'm cutting 20. Uh, but uh, 22. Be. So, Gegar, we ju- you're in the hotel right now, right? Yes. I just spoke, literally just hung up with Austin. His Wi-Fi connection was perfect. Your Wi-Fi connection sucks. That leads me to believe you bought the cheap Wi-Fi. Did you buy the cheap Wi-Fi? Is that what happened here? Because I have black hair, they're discriminating, uh, Ariel. <laughs> it's everywhere the same. Come on, <laughs> you're 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 cutting out every two seconds. His was flawless. You chose the cheaper option, right? It's, it's the same Wi-Fi. It's free, but I don't. Uh, this is crazy. Are you on Wi-Fi or, or are you on like uh, LTE or 4? I'm, I'm on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Do you want to try not no Wi-Fi? Uh, yeah, let me try. Not let me try. Uh, I mean, uh, this is this is why I don't have you on the show, Gregor. You come with bad Wi-Fi. For real? <laughs> Where are you? I don't see you. Oh, you have to go. <laughs> You have to go back. Uh, sh- show show the people what you we're disappeared. looking. Disappeared. I disappeared. <laughs> yeah. I could just talk to your name. I see. Uh, you can see me well now. Let's see. Okay. Let's oh, try. Yeah, now I. Yeah. I think this is going to be better. Now you're off Wi-Fi. It's better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm off uh, Wi-Fi. Yes. <laughs> By the way, um, <laughs> <laughs> Gegard, I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. Yeah. March 12th, 2005. What do you remember of that of that day? Do you remember anything about March 12th, 2005? I don't remember what I did yesterday. <laughs> but uh, I think uh, you prefer to King Mo? No. What? 2005? Uh, I don't know. I mean, no. Uh, Rings. Oh, interview. No, not interview. The man. Rings Bushido, Ireland. Gegard's first fight in Ireland against. Oh, man. Yeah. Who's it against? Some Irish guy, I think. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I, I I'm not. I, I couldn't even do an armbar, and I did an armbar <laughs> on him. So, <laughs> uh, John Donnelly was but, his uh, name. Yeah, John Donnelly. That sounds familiar. But uh, I remember it was like six thousand people, uh, and then they were making a lot of noise. So I was impressed by that. 
And then uh, you had the main event. The guy didn't come out. And then some guy came in the ring and said, well, he made extra cost for training and this and stuff. And then the ring announcer said, hey, come fight. We pay you the extra cost. Don't worry. <laughs> he said, I know I'm not coming. So the main event didn't happen. It was just... Uh, Wow! Yeah, yeah, you know, it was, he, I think he was—he got scared to fight, and he didn't show up. But uh, that was funny. Wow! So that was your first, and you won via armbar in a minute twelve seconds, and you had no idea what you were doing. It says a lot about John Donnelly. Yes, Jesus, uh, Jesus was with me that day. <laughs> and, and and then you fought in uh, in Belfast as well, Northern Ireland, several years later against Uriah Hall. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, that I remember. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, I saw that you told the media earlier, you were like, oh, I fought in Ireland twice. Technically, I think it's two separate entities, right? So technically, I think you only fought in Ireland once. I don't want to get too... Polite. Why? Is it the, the North Ireland different? It's different, yes. But I don't want you to get in trouble over there. Oh, you're getting too <laughs> technical now. Uh, Ariel, you know, it's the same shit. Uh, oh, not, 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 not like that. But it's the same thing, you know? <laughs> Oh my God, this is great. Um, it's, okay, so uh, they speak Irish, right? So it's the same thing. They, yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, who do you think gets cheered more on Friday? You, the the legend, or Austin, the social media superstar? He's not a social uh, <laughs> social superstar. <laughs> his wife is. I didn't check his. Uh, yeah, his wife is the guy that makes sexy pictures. <laughs> Because uh, <laughs> you don't want to see a sex uh, Musashi sex tape. Did you, you want to see it? Is there one? Is there one floating around? Is it? <laughs> no, there's. Uh, I'll I'll delete it. But uh, do you follow him on? <laughs> <laughs> I can do that too, you know. But uh, no, he's a. Uh, no, I checked his Instagram twice to see what he's up to. But <laughs> <laughs> what did you see? But uh, no, I don't follow him. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I think the crowd will be on my side because uh, my friends are coming and it's uh, near Holland. And I'm coming with a, a, music, a song that I'm coming out to. I think people are going to like it. Oh, yeah? What is it? I'm going to stuck on... Uh, some Irish uh, people uh, suck up, yeah, suck up. That's smart. And the Irish people it, to have them on my side. Is it zombie? Are you gonna come out the zombie? Zombie song. Yeah, no, the cranberries. They I love that song. Surprise! I am not okay, uh, saying surprise. <laughs> All right, five, five, five. Who's that? Nima. Yeah, Nima is here. He's trying to pull all the strings. Okay, I He's understand. He's whispering things in my ear. <laughs> uh, do you usually spy? <laughs> I did, there he is. There he is, Nima. What's happening? Oh, my he's uh, working hard. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't get many sponsors. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe you can get me sponsors. Eric. I saw you got eight man. You got eight man. Yeah, eight man is good. Eight, eight man helped you. Black Asset, Black Asset is also sponsoring me. Oh, wow. X Marshall. And X Marshall also. Look Thank you, guys. <laughs> You are you into that whole Bitcoin thing? You into that? Well, I lost seven thousand, uh, and uh, so I, I wasn't very successful. <laughs> Just seven thousand is nothing for you. You've, I mean, that's pocket change for you. Yeah, it's still, uh, yeah, I'd rather spend it on something else. But uh, sure, it's it's garbage. It's garbage. Yeah, okay. don't do it. What about NFTs? You like NFTs? Oh, no, do it. Do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what <laughs> oh my god this is amazing um, <laughs> oh, fuck. please do buy some more <laughs> sure 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 especially go to block asset to buy it um, do you usually like to spy on your opponent during training camp I think that they're gonna cut off my payment no now. no 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 I, I know those guys that's Darren Till and those guys cut this part off no Darren Till well we're live right now no, so no you, problem yeah um, do you usually like to spy on yeah. your opponent on social media uh, I was uh, I was just checking if he uh, he was on the juice. Oh, and uh, he didn't look juiced up. So yeah, because sometimes they juice up. Yeah, and they look like a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> this has been something that you've been fighting. You've been fighting this fight for a very long time. Do you do you feel like I mean he's a uh, yeah I, it, it, big guy? No, I don't think he's on uh, steroids. Okay, good. Yeah. Do you follow his wife? No, but I've some, seen some pictures. 
Oh my god! I don't, I don't want to say bad stuff. Don't, don't no, 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 no. Me into, uh, okay, so I'm, I'm not doing anything. We're having a great no, time. I don't, I don't want to get in trouble. You know, I, you know. I, Listen, I it's private business with Vanderbilt. You know, so. By the way, you know, but I've seen pictures, yeah. Just for the record, it's not that private. I don't know if you know this, but it's kind of out there. Yeah, okay, it's not private. Anyway, yeah, it's not private. But I, I don't like to, you know, sure, talk sure. about the wife and uh, stuff. Well, and stuff. I think he likes it. Actually, I used to call him Mr. Van Zant, and people would yeah. give me crap for that. He loved it. And then on the interview yeah. just now, I said, you know what? I'm not calling you Mr. Van Zant anymore. I don't want to disrespect you. He's like, no, I love it. I love when people call me Mr. Van Zant. Yeah. Could you imagine that? Yeah. Uh, I can imagine a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever take the name of your? Hey, I should get my own comedy show. You're don't amazing, you know? Gagar. Where have you been? You I'm, don't come I'm on my show. I'm on fire today. Yeah? You're, you're on fire. This is great. Sometimes it's like no, you the... don't invite me anymore. You're, you know, you get those boring, uh, boring uh, fighters. I know. I agree. A lot of them are very boring. I'm, uh, scaling up my payment. You know. I hear you. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so let me ask you: in in Ireland, did you see the buses with your face on and everything? That was pretty cool, right? It's a big deal there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty proud of that, you know. And then uh, uh, they're gonna air it on BBC for yep. the first time. Uh -huh. So um, that's something uh, new and uh, be uh, the first. Uh, I'm the first guy to be on the BBC uh, pro podcast. Oh wow! Cool. So. Pretty proud of those things. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. You know, I, w I was thinking about this as I was you coming. You want to see uh, the big brother? Yeah, sure. Where is it? Wait. The big moose. There he is. Oh, it's a nice room you have. Wow. Hello. Okay. Wow. What do we got there? What did he yeah, bring? They, they upgraded me this time. Uh, this, uh, what is this? I didn't get last time. Too. I, I'm, uh, I have a suite now, Ariel. Look at you. Can you believe that? You made it. Yeah, I made it. Yes, I didn't realize we. Haters. I didn't realize we had such it's a big audience. The I, they're burning a little bit now. No, they love you. Yeah, I'm. A, I have an entourage nowadays. Huh? <laughs> how do, how are they treating you there at Bellator? <laughs> Bellator, excellent. Yeah, nothing to complain. You know, uh, unfortunately, I fought twice last two years. Uh, I would have loved to fight more, but uh, you know it's pandemic. Uh, but they're 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 gonna keep me busy this year three times. Nice. And I want to fight Anderson Silva oh. in boxing. Wow! I have to say, for manager, we're gonna push for that fight. You, Anderson, don't run away from me. I love that. You being serious? Yeah, boxing, boxing. Yeah, I, I, you know it's showtime. Anderson is doing boxing. Yeah, and boxing. If I beat him, is not that. Bad MMA, I think is Oh, how could the internet? The internet failed us right at the best moment. Gegard Musasi calling out Anderson Silva in a boxing match. I'd sign up for that. Gegard didn't pay for the. He didn't pay for the high level internet. There's an option. You could go like four ninety five usually, nine ninety five. Should we reconnect with him? He's definitely not on the phone. I'll tell you that much. Oh, hey, I'm here. Errol. You're back. You're back. Gegard, you were you were cutting yeah. a great promo on Anderson Silva, and then it just died on us. Do it again. I shot a, a shot at him. Yeah, do it again. Do it again. Now it's up to him. You know. You want to fight him in boxing, in a, in a boxing match. Why not MMA? Yeah, why not? I think uh, it's, uh, it's not very interesting. It's, I think MMA he has lost, but the boxing is still winning. Uh, so I think it's different and it's more entertaining, you know? Wow. Have you thrown this out there? Have you floated the idea to anyone or is this kind of the first time? Yeah, a couple uh, to Scott and Showtime and to you now. I love it. And some interviews. Yeah, be pushing for it. Oh, I thought this was like an exclusive for us. I guess not. You always uh, come out with uh, news, uh, like when my fight is or how much I get paid. You get me always in trouble. No, what me? You're you're a you're, you're a good reporter, but not good for me. <laughs> how much are you getting paid? Well, for this yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. How I'm many happy. fights left with Bellator? Six. 
What? That many? How many did you sign for? Or did you just resign? Eight. Oh, you just you resigned not that long ago. They were paying me good enough, and I said, eh, make it more. Okay. And so you think you'll retire with them? Yeah, 100%. I was, I was just thinking about this, as I was saying earlier. Why don't we talk about you? We talk about Izzy, and then we start talking about these other guys. Why don't we talk about Gegard as one of the best middleweights in the world? Why is that? Uh, I, you know, I don't think back then I was at the best, but, you know, I hadn't. Uh, at this moment, uh, for this fight especially, I am. I feel like the best middleweight mm. because uh, the things that I'm doing in training, I, I can say I'm top three middleweight at least. You know, the problem is I cannot fight the number one and two guy. So, but hundred uh, percent in the top three. And uh, back then, I never said that I'm uh, the best middleweight because I didn't feel like that. But today, because of Jesus Christ, I let him in my heart, and they gave me special powers. I'm. Uh, I'm twice stronger, okay, faster, better conditioned. It's all in the vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you religious now, Gagar? <laughs> yes. No, and I'm not religious. Oh, okay. Religion? Uh, why? Yeah, I don't know. Well, you said. Have Jesus you seen Christ. God? Uh, I, I feel, was making fun of. Uh, no, I yeah, I get it. I get it. Um, I've not seen God, but I feel like I can speak to him sometimes. Yes. But not, yeah, not, but that's not the brain play. That's your, that's your brain playing with your, uh, with your mind. You think so? Yeah, I have it also. I, uh, sometimes I think, oh, I'm, uh, you know, <laughs> things happen for a reason, and then you fall down a uh, well and you die. Yeah, that's. <laughs> uh, are you? Are you okay? Uh, let me ask you this: Are you better than Robert Whitaker? Uh. Yeah, 100% I can beat him. Okay. 100% Israel also, you know, I, I you know, he did kickboxing with guys that uh did well or won from him. I trained with those guys and I get the better of them stand up. 100%. So, hey, you know, it's it's it doesn't make sense to talk about Whitaker or uh, Israel at the same because those the matchups are not going to happen. But I think it's good actually for Bellator and for you to have those debates. For the longest time, Bellator's champion couldn't be debated alongside the UFC champion. I think in the middleweight yeah. division, you can you can say with a straight face, I'll take the Bellator guy. You can make that argument. You can't say yeah. that all the time. And I think that's very important for the organization as they strive to gain more respect. Yeah, but you know, you have to understand the promotion is bigger, so they promote uh, you, you saw you saw strike force fighters. Yeah. They were saying, Oh, UFC fighters are better. Uh, Verdum got to become champion. DC was champion. Luke Rockwell got to be champion. Yeah. Who else? Ronda. Ronda. You know, you name it. The, 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 your strike force guys were doing very well. Right. So it's just that people see UFC. It's a big brand, and uh, they think, oh, the uh, fighters in different promotion are not equal. Right. Did you watch this fight last week? Two weeks ago. I skipped a lot. Uh, You're bored. You know, uh, not not bored, but I didn't have time. <laughs> what was in the middle of the busy, night? Uh, busy. Uh, what were you doing? Busy watching porn. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, there's better God. things on the internet, Ariel. I don't know. If I had you know a, I don't know. I know nothing of that. Uh, I had a good follow up joke to that <laughs> comment right there, but I'm going to keep it to myself. Are you still living? Uh, are you still living on the farm? Yeah, yeah. How is it? Same thing. It's uh, great. It's great. Um, Family's yeah. all there together. Yeah. Still there. Yeah, everyone is there. Thank God. <laughs> everyone is healthy. Thank God. And and what about the animals? Yeah. No animals. Uh, I bought a BB gun. I shoot on some rabbits, but they run away. <laughs> they were, I couldn't. Sh <laughs> How many people live there? My brother shot a, a eagle. Wow. That's actually impressive. Pew! And then what do you do with it? We buried it. Oh, uh, geez. <laughs> not going to eat it. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know what you guys do over there. Uh, I don't know what the delicacies are. He was are. pooping all over our, our house. Oh, my gosh. And so he shot it? Uh, he were, the, the eagle was pooping in our... Uh... 
it was pooping in our uh, backyard. He had to poop. <laughs> he shouldn't come to our uh, area, you know? Yeah, you know, you're right. You're right. Where is it? Is it in Amsterdam? No, it's in uh, Leidop. It's uh, like a village. Okay. How far is it from actual? Yeah, everything is close to Amsterdam. It's like 30 minutes. Holland is like two hours drive from everywhere. Okay. All right. Um, wow. And how many people live there? Uh, four, four, uh, seven, sometimes nine. Uh, it depends on who comes and stays. Okay. Seven, nine. By the way, Gegard, since it's such a, um, important topic for you, like for this fight, were you drug tested? Uh, no, not yet, but they're gonna. When? Uh, before the fight, I think. But doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose? Ariel, I'm gladly piss in someone's mouth. <laughs> they're not gonna find anything. No, no, no. <laughs> but but it doesn't it honestly doesn't it defeat they, the purpose? Yeah. To do it right before yeah, the fight, because no, then you go out no, and no, fight. The, no, the, there was a surprise test. Ah. But, uh, unfortunately, they called me. They wanted to do a surprise test. I said, "I'm all available. Come and come and uh, do anything you want." But uh, because La Holland was in lockdown, they couldn't do it. Oh, geez. Because everything was closed. But uh, IP anywhere you want, Ariel. Yeah. No problem with that. <laughs> I'm not down with that. I'm not down with I don't know about you. What do they call those? Golden showers or something? I'm not down with that. I don't know if you... Uh... Yeah, don't worry. I'm not on juice. I'm on Jesus no. juice. I get it. I get it. But my point is, someone who cares so much about drug testing, you would think that... You... I, I think... Yeah, but if they wanted to drug test me, they probably have drug tested uh, Vanderford. Right. So, but the U.S. was open, so probably they uh, tested him. So they yeah. do random tests. So okay. I'm happy with that. And do these fights, like you know, you fight John Salter, Austin Vanderford, you know, great young fighters, but you know, you have fought some legends. Is it hard for you initially to get up for these fights because their name isn't as big as your name? No, because he has certain things he does well. His takedown is very good. He's a good wrestler. So if I don't try well enough, you know, it could it could get me in trouble. Uh, and he's, uh, like I said, he's a younger, upcoming guy fighting for the belt. Feels he has to prove something, so he's confident. I have to take him serious. He's uh, maybe, you know, I've had big names, but some big names I've defeated in one minute. Mm -hmm. And then uh, some guys that I thought I'm going to beat the shit out of them. And then it went three rounds. I had a hard fight. Mm -hmm. Because every fight is different. So I, I don't say, think any, it's not like I'm not motivated. Okay. You, do you like his uh, neck tattoo? I wouldn't get it personally, but <laughs> faces are different. <laughs> That's right. I mean, it's right there. The eyes like staring you right in the face. Yeah, but uh, probably doesn't need to get a job, so for him it's no problem. Well, at some point in life, right? You you don't have any tattoos, right? No, I wanted to get some, but uh, after uh, like when I was depressed, I was thinking to get a tattoo, and after I got better, I said, "Fuck that shit." <laughs> <laughs> what were you depressed about? <laughs> Well, I had my knee surgery. Uh, I was depressed. Uh, uh, something happened to a close friend. Oh, I'm sorry. And then, uh, and all of those stuff. And then, but at the end, uh, yeah, yeah. I thought, you know, when was that? It's uh, yeah, nothing for me, you know. How long ago was that? What? When you were going through this? Oh no, the. the the other one I don't want to talk about, but the, the knee injury is a couple of years ago. But okay. The other one, uh, yeah, 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 I get it. Uh, I do have to ask you though before I let you go, Gigard, what happened with uh, Conor McGregor? I mean, you brought it up, so I feel like I'd be remiss. It's a long time ago. He, in some interview, I, I said uh, they don't know who's the real fighter because the, I was saying on Instagram, Mayweather and Conor, they were all you know talking about money and everything is a uh, you know. Uh, you know, all, all watch and uh, stuff. And I said, I said something about that. And the idiot uh, sent me a private message. Uh, no, actually, he sent it to my manager because I don't do Twitter. But uh, that that was it. And then uh, I said to manager, write something. 
back, something like that. What do you remember? What he wrote? He's a, bit, uh, he's, a, he's a moron. Do you remember what he wrote? He said, "Don't talk. Don't bring my name in your mouth." And I said, "You're a ginger-headed fuck." And then some ginger guy wrote to me, "You inf- uh, insulted gingers. I'm not your fan anymore." I'm like, oh, "What the fuck?" <laughs> You can't say anything anymore. This it's cancel culture. You cannot even show your dick to women. No, listen. And they're going to cancel you. I would not. I would not. I would not advocate that you do that. Um, so no more. <laughs> still still no Twitter, right? Do you use Instagram or what? Are you, uh, uh, are you afraid, you're afraid to get fired? Which I'm, company are you working for? <laughs> I'm working for a lot of them. Uh, I'm, no, I'm not afraid to get fired. I'm independent Hawani. You haven't heard, Gegard? Uh, I, I marched to the beat of my own I, drum. Yeah, I'm happy for you. You you you've been doing this for a long time. You deserve it. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Uh, but you're on Instagram. That's you, or or you don't do that also. Instagram is me. Okay. The rest I don't know. All right. I like I love you. Have one of the great Instagram names at Musasi. I don't know how you got that, but it's clean. Just your. I mean, it's pretty legendary. Yeah. That's all. I, just I think to thank uh, you my friend made it that one for me. Yeah, I wanted to give you props. To you and your friend. Um, all right, so it goes Thank down Friday, uh, February twenty fifth. I can't wait. What an appearance this is, Gegard. I feel like we always, you know, Nima was telling me, oh, this is a little too close to the Wayans. I actually think it's better when it's closer to the Wayans because you're a little loopy. This is good stuff. <laughs> you're a little drunk. Not enough oxygen to my brain. <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably. But uh, no, I'm in a good mood. I still have to do the heavy part, but I will make it. I never miss weight. And then uh, it's time to kick ass. I wish you the best. I'll let you go cut weight. Uh, thank you, Gegard. Good luck to you on Friday. Hello? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you froze up. You yes. can s- good. Thank you, Ariel. Good thank luck you. to you. Good luck to you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Great to talk to you. There he is.